They say all life originated from one cell billions of years ago. Each one of us is a society of billions of cells that govern everything from movement to memory and imagination. Life is based on a society of cells as all the properties that are needed for Darwin's theory of evolution. But there remains the great unsolved problem of the creation of the first cell life. Back in ancient Greece, Aristotle came up with the idea of a special force in the universe that led to the spontaneous generation of life. Although his theory has been disproved by experiments, this video will explain how the electromagnetic force can form the spontaneous momentum and physical structure for the reproduction of the first cells of life. Even the boundary condition with the variation of self-replication that is needed for Darwin's theory of evolution can be explained by the physics of this one universal process. The carrier of the electromagnetic force is the light photon and light has momentum. This forms the driving force for the evolution of the first cell life. Momentum is frame dependent, therefore we have a process that forms its own reference frame or boundary condition. This simple dynamic process is universal and can be seen in the spontaneous formation of bubbles in a soap solution. All that is needed is a supply of energy from sunlight and varying temperature changes from the local environment. Within such a process the greatest probability is that life will arise. The uncertainty and probability that cell life needs for the variation and mutations for Darwin's theory of evolution to work is formed at the quantum level of the atoms. In this theory the quantum of quantum mechanics is a unit of energy that we see and feel as the flow of time itself. Time is continuously being formed photon by photon by the spontaneous absorption and emission of light waves of electromagnetic radiation. A process of continuous change continuous energy exchange, forming the future uncertainty of everyday life. This uncertainty can be seen mathematically as Heisenberg's uncertainty principle of quantum physics. This might sound mad, but the probability function that forms the uncertainty principle also forms the movement of electric charge, forming the flow of electric current with electrical potential. In this theory, electrical potential and the individual's future potential are the same within their own reference frame. The most advanced part of this universal process is in the form of electrical activity in the brain being able to comprehend and measure this process as the flow of time with a past and uncertain future. This process is totally universal and interactive from the largest object to the smallest creature right down to the smallest element of the periodic table will slow the rate that time flows, forming a curvature of space-time relative to its own energy or mass. If our eyes were more sensitive to the different wavelengths of light, we would be able to see that everything is radiating electromagnetic light waves continuously. This forms a great dance of energy exchange, forming a process of spontaneous and continuous change that we see and feel as the aging process and as the flow of time itself. In this theory gravity is a secondary force to the electromagnetic force. Objects just free fall towards the greatest mass or energy because it has the slowest rate that time flows. The second law of thermodynamics falls out of this theory. The organization for the spontaneous disorganization of entropy is formed by the spherical symmetry of the quantum wave particle function. The spontaneous absorption and emission of light forms the flow of time with photon energy cascading down forming greater degrees of freedom for the flow of entropy. We have an infinite number of reference frames within our universe and because light has momentum and momentum is frame dependent each object or observer will have their own reference frame with their own future uncertainty as time unfolds photon by photon. 
Therefore, an observer can look back in time at the beauty of the stars in all directions from the centre of their own reference frame. This is because they are forming their own space-time by collapsing the waves of light into new photon oscillations, forming their own future potential. An artist will take energy and time to create a work of art because the atoms of the hand and eye have bonded together forming the movement of electric charge creating their own potential future. Creation is truly in the hand and eye of the beholder in this theory. This video will put forward the idea that only an infinity of possibilities could form the diversity and complexity of life. This theory is based on the mathematics and physics of some of the greatest minds the world has ever seen. It will explain a universal process of energy exchange formed photon by photon at the quantum level of the atoms by the wave-particle duality of light. This forms a dynamic process of spherical symmetry forming and breaking. This spherical geometry can be seen as 4 pi in the equations of quantum mechanics. When this symmetry is broken it forms spiral symmetry forming the Fibonacci ratio that we see almost everywhere in nature. This is not because of economy of growth, but because it represents a universal dynamic geometry. In this theory the Planck constant is a constant of action and is continuously coming into existence photon by photon or moment by moment. This is part of a continuous process of change or creation, therefore we have a true infinity that can continuously be halved or divided over a period of time. A mathematician will be able to divide any number into infinitely smaller parts because of this process. For a poet or artist this process continuously forms a blank canvas that they can interact with forming the possible into the actual as time unfolds. Our deepest understanding of time is explained in Einstein's theories of relativity. In these theories Time is more than just a measure of change, of things happening, because we have the geometry of Einstein's curvature of space-time. The theory explained in this video extends the theory of relativity to everyday objects and life forms. Living things will form their own future by slowing down the rate that time flows relative to their own energy. In this way they form a vortex in space, formed by the rate that time flows and are therefore always at the centre of their own reference frame. It is because life can choose when and where to collapse the quantum wave particle function or probability function breaking the symmetry that we have free will. Life will create its own ripples in the fabric of space-time forming its own broken symmetry of its own e evolutionary path. This forms an infinity of possibilities within the evolutionary process for each life form. In this theory all life has a common geometry formed by the geometry of space-time. This forms a mathematical base for Charles Darwin's theory of evolution by natural selection. Therefore the diversity of life is not based just on the survival of the fittest but on a self-created beauty for its own sake. The uniqueness of every life form of every sunset, of every moment, can only be created out of a potential infinity of possibilities. Because it is an infinity, everything is unique, and our whole universe is only relative to each individual object or observer. We have a universal dynamically forming geometry, forming symmetry, from simple dynamics, the forward momentum of electromagnetic radiation, will place light charged particles that repel, becoming equally displaced along the curvature of their own created space-time. The same broken symmetry can be seen in each individual part of a plant, from the position of the leaves to the petals and seeds upon the flower head. Each new cell growth will have its own unique angle forming the curvature of space-time. Therefore we see the same patterns in plant life as we do in deep space, formed by the same universal geometry. 
It is this dynamic universal geometry that human mathematics is based upon. In this theory, fractals are formed by the repetition of the wave function, continuously collapsing and reforming, a kind of geometrical and mathematical repetition. This has gauge symmetry, and we can re-gauge each new photon at zero, representing a new moment in time, the moment of now, with the positive numbers marching off towards an infinite future, their negative numbers receding towards a limitless past, the positive and negative of electromagnetic waves. This gives us a deeper understanding of time and a reason why we have a future and a past. Energy equals mass times the speed of light squared is the most famous equation in physics. But could this equation give us an objective understanding of the universe? All we have to do is place the Lorentz contraction of space and time between the energy and mass. Therefore the greater the energy, the greater the contraction of space, and the slower time will run. Mass will increase relative to this, and each reference frame can be seen as a vortex in space and time. The C2 in the equation represents light radiating out in all directions at a constant speed, forming a sphere of electromagnetic radiation from its radius, forming a square of probability. This is the same probability we have with any future event, because the process forms the flow of time itself, photon by photon. The brackets represent the boundary condition of the reference frame formed by the energy, and the infinity symbol represents an infinite number of reference frames that make up our universe. In this way, we link the time dilation of Einstein's theories on relativity with a deeper understanding of quantum mechanics to give us an objective understanding of our universe that fits in with the reality of our everyday life. The theory explained in the rest of this video is based on just two simple postulates. The first is that the quantum wave particle function or probability function of quantum mechanics represents the forward passage of time itself photon by photon and the second is that Heisenberg's uncertainty principle that is formed by the probability function is the same uncertainty we have with any future event within our own reference frame. This process of continuous creation or change we see and feel as the flow of time itself and we can interact with it turning the possible into the actual. This forms a potential infinity of possibilities Within such a process, the greatest probability is that life will arise. 